Hello everyone, I'm your developer Zeke. In this series of videos, I will show you hand by hand about how to create modes in the game of Neverart. For example, custom weapons like molded turrets, torpedoes, or just a different telescope. And this series will also get updated as new content are added to the mode tools in the future. So no more talking, let's start. Before we are really going to make some modes, we need to first download these two softwares, which are Unity and Blender. Unity, which is a game engine, we could open its website by googling Unity. In the download section, as it's always better to use the same version that the game runs, which is 2019. I recommend to download it through Unity Hub. You may need to register an account before you are going to start the download. So I've done that already. Then we press the download Windows version button. Wait until the download complete. Here we could go to download Blender first by googling Blender and access its website. The version of Blender doesn't match as much. Here I downloaded 3.3.1 LTS, which is long-term support. So after we have downloaded Blender, we could just install Blender by following the tips on the software. Here I have finished the installation of Unity Hub. You need to get a personal license before you start modding. Click the Create and Get Personal Edition License button. Since we're not going to use Unity for commercial purposes, After we got the license, click the Install Editor button on the top right corner and where you can see we can find the 2019 version here which we needed. So we click the Beta Program web page button at the bottom of the window. Then we could see there is a long-term support series on the website. We click the RTS button first but and then click the download button. Then we click download through Unity Hub and open the hub by following the tips. You can see a module selection panel popped up. As we are just going to make modes, we could deselect the Visual Studio toggle, which is for coding and programming. If you don't need the documentation, you could deselect it. And you could also add your language here. Don't wear so far, and here we just need to waiting for the download to complete. Ah, and here we go, advertisement. We can create a new project by clicking the new project button. You can see some templates here, but we don't need them this time. So we click the core button and click 3D. Choose where you want to put the project, or you could just leave them at the default position. You can type whatever name you like here. Here I just use the normal name. This toggle is for version control and I suggest you deselect it. After that, we could create a new project. Generally, it will take a long time when you first enter the project. Congratulations, our project has been created. In the next, we need to locate our mod tools package location. You can do that by opening libraries via Steam. Inside the mod tool folder, can find these three files here. This is an offline manual for more tools as you can take it as a reference. So as the file's name says, 
It's very important to remember always back up your project every time you update your mod tools. Then we import the mod pa tools package by double clicking it and we choose import. And here we go. You can see the files are here. Then we click the never add button to open the never add more tools window. There is an example thing in the example folder. The thing demonstrates some example modes which will help you learn better. So as the text says, if you can't view the models, it's because you haven't installed Blender. Please always remember to click the red right toggle in the inspector after you imported the models, or it will create a bug in the game. Here you can see since I have already installed Blender so I can open the model directly via Unity. Congratulations, you have finished the first step for modding tutorials so far. I will see you in the next episode.